This tutorial shows you how to configure general application preferences in iSpring QuizMaker. To access general options, go to the app menu and select options. Here you can select whether to automatically create quiz backup files or not. A new quiz backup will be created every time you save a quiz in the same folder. QuizMaker adds the word backup to the file name. Now let's click spelling options. This window shows a list of spelling dictionaries and some extra options. The checkbox next to a dictionary indicates whether it will be used when spell checking your quiz. The custom dictionary contains words that you have added yourself. You can add new words here or by right clicking underlined words in your quiz and clicking add to dictionary. When you're done, click OK. You can create a new custom dictionary by clicking new and change your default custom dictionary by clicking Change Default. You can also import a dictionary file in DIC format by clicking Add. DIC files are available on the web for most languages. Delete any non-default custom dictionary by selecting it from the list, clicking Delete, and then clicking Yes. This option lets you hide spelling errors by not underlining misspelled words. The rest of these options will direct QuizMaker to ignore certain types of words. For example, all caps, words that begin with a capital letter, words with both upper and lowercase letters, words that contain numbers, and internet and file addresses. When you're done configuring your spelling options, click OK. Finally, you can configure sound recording options. Select a recording device from the drop down and change the volume if you like. When you click Set Up Microphone, you will be taken to the Microphone Setup Wizard. To learn more, see the tutorial How to Use the Microphone Setup Wizard. Did you like this video? Give it a like and subscribe to the iSpring YouTube channel for more updates.